my background's interior design. Um, I was a teacher before that, so I sort of checkered past. But um, we have commercial property in the area, so we know the area really well. A wonderful sort of client base. And there wasn't a boutique hotel in the inner city to service their needs. So um, part of that was having a fantastic restaurant as well. It's a really moody place. I mean, here we are on a winter day, you know, with blazing sunshine up there, it's gorgeous. Nighttime, it becomes much more moody. We sort of lower the lights. Um, the chandeliers, which are up here, just sort of hang over the space. Loads of candles, candles everywhere, water feature tinkling, gas fire burning. So it works. It's, it's really nice having that ability to sort of create different spaces. It's multi-dimensional. I always say it's a bit like my decor, which is quite eclectic. Um, our clientele is also eclectic and so are the experiences. So we've got spaces where you can have a beautiful romantic candlelight dinner or you can have a group starting out in the house bar because it has, for so many of Aucklanders, it has such a nostalgic feel. So many people have drunk there in the past. Um, brilliant cocktails. Start the evening there, come into the restaurant, being greeted by you know, really warm, friendly staff. Good wine list to complement the great food. I was born in the UK and um, I lived in the UK till I was 18. Did all my chef training over there. But as, as soon as I finished um, my college like, education, I was on a plane and off to New Zealand. And I've pretty much been here ever since. I'm a firm believer in local produce. Even though there's not a lot of products grown in New Zealand on a large scale, they are out there. You just need to work a little bit harder and go and find them. And fresh food tastes better. Basically, there's no other way around it. The fresher the food is, the better it's going to be. In terms of technique and, and the skills that we use in the kitchen, it's definitely more European based. The flavours, I, I like sort of, without creating a rainbow on the, on the plate, I like my food to be bright and, and summery. You know. In many respects, the less work you have to do, but it can also be more of a challenge to keep things simple and let the natural flavours of the food shine through on the plate. Cooking to me is, it's all about emotion and, and, and passion and sort of the mood that you're in. And, and you, can't, you can't do the job unless you want to. And so everybody is in there every day working hard, wanting to produce the best they possibly can. Because you can't be a chef otherwise, you know. It, it's impossible to turn up every day and, and do what we do without that passion.